What is going on guys? KD Arsenal 141 here and we are back reacting to the Gamescom Monster Hunter Wilds gameplay. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. They are speaking in Japanese and English. So. Here we go. For anyone who sees this screen as concerned that there's simplified character creations, don't worry, this is just for the show floor demo version to make things go quickly. We've made some preset characters for you to choose, but the full game has the detailed character creator that you've come to know and love. Yeah, that makes sense. <coughs> Same time. We've also the character creator looks standard, but the, the, the models look actually we'll better. Choose the voice you want to have on your hunter. There's the cat. <laughs> I know our community love to express themselves via their hunters, and not just their hunters, but their palicos. Yeah. I got a lot of new, good-looking palicos too. And uh, the models in general. Exactly. And All right. Similarly, you know, we this want to keep our base simple camp? for the show floor demo. People who are coming to queue to play the game don't have to waste too much time. That must be our handler. We've had some characters Alma. created here, but you'll be able to do some detailed settings in the full game. Yeah, I'm All loving right. the different hair color options as well. Uh, the character models look really good in the uh, trailer, so they're not too far from that in the gameplay. Definitely better than World, definitely better than Rise. The graphics have been upgraded for sure. So we've got two different uh, quests that you can take on here at Gamescom. One of them is for perhaps the more beginner hunters who want to have a bit of an introduction to the story and the setting. And we have another one for those more veteran hunters who are able to jump right into the action. Needless to say, that's the one I'll be doing today. <laughs> and here we are in the camp as well. All right. Obviously. And um, she has the great sword the, too. The here with the great sword on her back, but we know that Takuda Sam will be rocking the hunting horn. So we're going to take a look at the uh, the uh, camp section now. Sure, that's All the right. standard menu. Yeah. You got your stats and everything. It's pretty standard. So as you can see, you can choose you your equipment box, your gear. Although we were discussing our weapon choices as a multiplayer. <laughs> so it's gonna be a lot like going solo, I'm gonna world. keep it simple and go with my usual choice of great swords. A fine choice, a classic. You got your resistances. Basic sharpness, green. It's probably going to go up to like purple or white. You can see I'm choosing my armor here. In previous Monster Hunter games, you had male and female armor was separate. I'm happy to confirm that in Monster Hunter Wilds, there's no more male and female armor. All characters can wear any gear. That's awesome. Fashion game is officially the end game. <laughs> Unfortunately, Okura-san's controller is on the blink again. Uh, well, enjoy the view of some of the armor sets in the meantime. And obviously that exciting news that now... In oh, I guess they wilds, forgot to charge no the controller. <laughs> you choose to build your hunter, what they uh, look like, they any of the armor back sets in, in the, the game, live show. they can use as long as you have the monster parts. So that's incredible. We know the community have been wondering if this would be the case. So I cannot wait to see what the community cook up when they get their hands on it in 2025. But yeah, oh, so excited to hear about that. Yeah, the developers also love seeing everyone posting their characters. Yes. And especially their palicos, of course. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I actually have a cat in real life and I always base my palico off of her. She's a little tortoise shell. So actually one of the presets is a tortoise shell as well here. So. Yeah, you love to see it. I'm sure we have a lot of cat lovers in the community who yeah. are recreating their little <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at all. Okay. <laughs> I think it's it's the all right, I'm waiting for them to get back, back to the gameplay. So let's see if we can get back into the action. Yeah, let's get back into the action, guys. All right. I'm still looking at the menus with the chess piece. Okay, I've chosen my gear, so let's go on. Vine trap upsurge has been spotted. So this is the base camp, which is the camp of operations for the hunters. Nice. Hunt the alpha Joe Shaguma. 
You can see that I'm here on my Wow. I think that's leading me towards my target. I'm not That's really going to help. Because before you just had to basically walk. Now you could get an animal to ride, but it was kind of difficult. Doshigam Guma. So this is the one we've been seeing throughout the weapons trailers. Actually, so when we say seamless, this is this Wow. They actually have a a marker on the thing. So you can really get to it. So we can see that the monsters this is actually what I wanted. I wanted, you know, groups of monsters to hunt. Not just one where like, yeah, like three of the ones. And then they attack you and it's like, you know, a difficult fight. This is what I wanted. Where could they be leading him? I think the guiding lens was a test for this. That's what that was. The guiding lens was just testing for well. wild. So using a button prompt, you can get straight back onto your mount and into the action. Yeah, you can swing now. Nice, nice. Um, you can swing while riding. That's going to be good. Especially like when you've almost gotten the monster down and then like he just trying to run off or whatever. Like you could chase him down and actually get hits in still. And well. keep that fight going. That'll be good for speed runs. Secret will be good for speed runs. Secret is the animal you're riding. The, uh, the bird. Bow guns range there. So yeah, as, as we mentioned earlier, mounted combat is an option when you're re-engaging a monster. Um, just, to, just to keep them on wow. their toes. The sizzling sands. Oh really nice. The so dunes are like super high a, now. A pack of monsters like this is a first for the Monster Hunter series. So yeah, uh, oh, and wow. then like you got two, you're trying to get the alpha, and you got oh. the other two attacking as well. <laughs> wow. This is gonna be crazy, and I like the health bar, like how it's like. Looks like a DNA strand. I like that. And a stamina. <laughs> a weapon thing. I like the UI. The UI is good. They took the bottom symbols from Rai. Which isn't bad. Yeah, so you can see that there's a recommendation here for me to use a gun pod. That'll help me get rid of the other guys in the pack. And then you got actual, so we actually have uh, actual time clock, which is nice, uh, because sometimes it can be hard to kind of read, you know, the clock. I mean, you can tell time, but to have an actual digital clock is nice. Whoa, a storm is coming. Which hopefully should split the pack up because. Wow, storm is coming. And so that splits them up. Nice. Right. And this is good. This is going to be so good. We're going to have so many gameplays, guys. You know, we got to be every monster. Nice. We can mount again. I missed that since uh, Rise took it out. Um, and Ooh. the new way it has been uh, added to the game. Yes, thank oh, God you can do that again. <laughs> I miss mounting. Like, mounting was so fun. As me with the great sword. Oh! So it's a, as we mentioned, Get them big damage ball. numbers. This is and a basic great sword, so. Taking advantage of uh, Doshiguma being in a bit of a tough spot. Wow, and you get help too, nice. nice. They do more than just look now. Yeah, this is a brand new feature where we have this kind of interaction at different levels of the ecosystem. It brings an extra level of realism. And talking of, um, oh, there's a certain monster in the background there as well. Hopefully they don't come and visit because that would be scary. But we are in the inclemency period right now. A storm has rolled in mid-hunt, dramatically changing the, the whole locale. Wow, and you got these lightning strikes everywhere. 
<laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Oh, you got the other one from the trailer. We have another of our, our monsters that we've revealed here, Balahara. And uh, Balahara and uh, Doshikuma, they don't seem to get on too well. Uh, we're seeing, oh, oh my goodness. So, uh, Tokuri san, what are we seeing here exactly? It seems that he's engaged the Balahara, hoping it would start a turf war and, it looks and damage like the main successful. monster, which yeah. worked. I really love what they did with the health bar and the stamina bar. Now we have a certain monster here that was officially revealed in yesterday's trailer uh, open in Night Live. Behold, the apex monster of the Windward Plains, Ray Dao. Ray Dao. And we have seen the community calling it uh, Thor Magala uh, <laughs> when it was first teased. Yeah, uh, it looked like Thor Magala. But yeah, Ray Dao is the name of this powerful monster. Ray so, Dao. Uh, so you do huh. come across this if you're at Gamescom. But that other dragon is called Ray Dao. West, good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> it's using that thunder. Yeah. We've seen a lot of people coming to the booth actually intentionally seeking out Ray Dao for a challenge, but as Man, you said, Ray Dao is, is really trying to fight. You know, you Are they gonna to, do a turf war? Is he gonna That's do a turf war with Ray Dao? Like, this is the That's Bo. I'm going straight Ray Dao is about to clap this dude. <laughs> and look at the power of that. Ooh, laser beam. <laughs> I told you, he was gonna clap this dude. Ain't no yeah, way. I don't think Doshiguma's gonna win this one against Ray Dao. Right. He can go against the Elder Dragon. No way. We can. The great sword. Yeah, this is our first opportunity, Rosa Sam says, to have a chance to really show a big meaty chunk of gameplay rather than showing trailers. So it's a great chance for everyone to nice, see. Nice, exactly. Absolutely. I and think that's good. Expert hands as well. Which is this is really getting people excited for the game. Honestly, it looks playable. I mean, release the game. Release the, <laughs> release the game. <laughs> No, I, I want them to take time and, you know, make it perfect, polish it, balance it. I put as much content as possible in it. Yeah, so uh, Rizosan was asking what was the design intention behind Ray Dao? And Fujioka san explained that, you know, the first monster you meet is kind of more like Doshagama style, beastly, furry kind of creatures. So we want to have something that stood apart from those, but that also represented the new feature of the kind of um, the stormy uh, conditions that can change at any time. So having this kind of lightning creature really represents the elemental nature of the new Monster Hunter Wilds uh, environmental design. Yeah, it's encapsulated wonderfully. Like the community reaction when we just teased the monster was fantastic. Theory crafting, making fan art, trying to make out what the monster looks like. Yeah, I can definitely see that coming through. Oh, Shark Trap! The Shark Trap is back. Yeah, you just um, saw me using the Great Thunderbug here. It's one of the environmental creatures. Nice. Life. I like how they it's got, the for the Great Sword, sword so they got like the jagged edges on the, uh, huge shock effect for on the, the sharpness up in the so left corner. So resourceful hunters that keep a lookout for these little things in the environment can really capitalize on them during a hunt. Wow. This gameplay is good. This game is going to be fun. Monster Hunter is always fun, but man, it is going to be amazing. Yeah, that was just one example of the many different environmental traps that you can use to cause damage. There is even bigger rock falls on that and other things to discover. Absolutely. I remember actually using rock falls in Monster Hunter World. And uh, I'd miss most of the time, so it's good that there's lots of opportunities to uh, 
use more traps so you know in 2025 the time. and uh, what we've just seen here as well yeah, you know, blackout six my friend wild in yesterday's trailer they're just saying that Chata Cabra has turned up lost on the record scene, so blooming got, range uh, menagerie today we do so we've seen four mo different monsters already in the space of this one hunt and they've all come up and uh tried to take on uh takuda san as well Chata Cabra is one of the first monsters you'll face in Wild, so it's one of the ones that's, if you're used to the series, it'll be a little easier to take on. Absolutely, and what a character he is with that tongue. So a few moments ago, you'll have seen that um, Tokuro-san put up an SOS player. Even though he's playing offline in single player, three support AI hunters have now joined him. Who you can see on the party list. On wow, the that's going to be really something that's really good too. AI, AI hunters, because sometimes the matchmaking is just not good at all. It's not. So we need AI players because I love I love multiplayer. A lot of people they they hunt alone. I like to hunt with a team. You know I like it. You know you got a great sword guy. You got a a bow gun guy. You got a sword and shield guy. A lance guy. And that's great. And it just was all going at the monster. And for that, you can still nice. kind you of have that multiplayer or yeah, he's almost got him. with the support hunters. And it's your choice whether you use them or not as well. Now he's going to capture him, hopefully. So we've maybe not, the maybe he's gonna slay. A little bit when it comes to the bow guns. You'll notice when I was choosing the ammo that there's a, you can choose between having um, smaller bullets that you can shoot off uh, infinitely or more powerful bullets that are more. Wow, and the storm pass. So you have to make a conscious totally decision changed. when to bring out the big guns Sorry. and, uh, and really Back to kind light. Of, uh, lay into the monster. I think I'll have the bow gun as my secondary. Well, you can kind of see the, the damage and wear and tear it's been receiving over the duration of the hunt. Um, so uh, obviously in traditional Monsanto titles for free, before Wilds, you'd break monster parts and you'd visibly see that. But it looks like the team have really added on to that and added even more detail. What's our move? Oh. Tokun, back down wa as a that's a big sucker. We, I think Tokuda san was probably going to bust out a barrel bomb, but we need to save some good stuff for the following streams. So we're going to keep the barrel bomb for tomorrow. So there you go. Another good reason to tune in tomorrow as well. I don't think Doshiguma appreciated that alarm clock. <laughs> wow. I could tell you guys really like the bow gun. My bow gun reaction kind of got a lot of around that. They didn't wake the monster up. They let Takuda-san do that as the player. Yeah, the AI is really smart and it knows what strategy you're going to be going for based on your actions. And look at the mobility on the light bow gun and the rapid shots as well, including with elemental ammo. Hey! There we go. Yo, Shiguma's down. So, Yozo san is <laughs> pointing out that you can actually get on top of the monster now in order to carve. Uh, nice. So a new feature from this game. I see, and we can see Olivia getting stuck in as well. Yeah. She's not hanging about. She's like, I'm getting my monster pass right now. So, yeah, when you do take down a monster, you can get a lovely, you know, nice pan, a nice screenshot of you stood upon your prize. Um, but no, that was a great hunt. Um, Takuda-san, 
What was your highlight from that Toshi Guma hunt? That's time? nice being able to stand on top of the monster. And you can still glitch into it. As well. I was really happy I was able to show you a huge variety of monsters within one quest and also show off the windward planes and the ecology that you're able to use at the same time. So you can get a lovely, you know. Alright, guys, we're gonna end this. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the gameplay and if you're excited for Monster Hunter Wilds.